Okay. Hi, my name is Anna and my partner is Ann. We are from 3B and Station International School. Today we will teach you about plants in the ocean. Now we will tell you some facts about the ocean. The ocean is the largest biome in the world. There are five major oceans which cover 70% of the world. Some sea animals that live there are French grunt, black tip shark, sea otter, and blue whale. The diversity of plant life. We will now talk about some different types of plants in the ocean. There are seagrass, dinoflagellates, and phytoplankton. Seagrass. Seagrass grows in the shallow part of the water. It needs a lot of sunlight. These pets have roots and they live on the floor of the ocean. Some examples of seagrass are turtle grass, manatee grass, and shell grass. It helps sea creatures hide from predators. It is also food for creatures. Dinoflagellates. Dinoflagellates have only one cell, which means they are too small to see without a microscope. Dinoflagellates sometimes produce luminescence, which makes the ocean water glow. Phytoplankton. Phytoplankton need sunlight to make their food. Small animals such as krill eat phytoplankton. The interrelationship between people and plants. Now we will talk about how people use plants in the ocean. One of the plants is kelp. We eat kelp. For example, nori is made from kelp. We can eat nori with rice or without anything. We also use nori in a Japanese soup. It is called miso shiru. Nori is healthy because it does not contain sugar, fat, or salt. But Korean nori has a little bit of salt on it. Nori is a tasty snack. Local and global efforts to conserve and sustain diversity. Farmers use chemicals for the crops. The chemicals eventually run to rivers and oceans. The fertilizer helps algae grow. Then bacteria eats the algae. The bacteria uses a lot of oxygen so the other creatures have a hard time breathing. The areas without any oxygen are called dead zones. Even though the ocean is in trouble, people are taking action to help the ocean. Governments are making laws to protect the ocean. We can help the ocean by picking up our garbage when we visit the beach or ocean. We can also help the ocean by not taking creatures, for example, coral reefs. <laughs>